Swan Creek. The northern entrance. It's a it's close to seven in the morning. Got here just as it's starting to turn light. <clears throat> Usually I skip this part because it's kind of boring. You know, the part leading up to this. Must be a new tag. Hadn't been here with it this dim. Well, I'll take that back. Many years ago, I was here with my brother as it was really turning dark, so.
but definitely never a recording. Uh, yes, not many people have walked through here yet. Lots of spider webs. Spidey. Then Gumby's a part of you. Do 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 do. I so very badly need to get in shape, and I appreciate you putting up with all my heavier breathing during these walks. Because I just need to, I need to do this more and I won't breathe so heavy. All the COVID lockdowns and the habits that came from it really had me quite sedentary. If that's the right word. Far too sedentary. Might as well have been a gamer spending all my days, all my time sitting in a chair. Only, you know, I'm not playing games, I'm doing other things, but mostly online, it's just, nah, I need to get out more. I need to see my friends more. I'm so tired of the lockdown mindset. Which I'm still kind of stuck with, to some degree, with my living scenario, so... I don't want to get anyone else sick, so...
so many spider webs. I don't know about there being so little time. Is that a good one? Yeah, no. Needs you directly to some water. I don't want to walk in the water right now. It be, will be a good one eventually though, so. Man, so many spider webs. I bet there's... Well, I don't see any on the lens. At least nothing blatant anyway. How's this one? Let's let's have a look, shall we? Little wet spot right there, and then it seems to even out for the most part. Yeah, that was a nice one. Nice view. I can actually sit down for a moment and enjoy this view. I think I will. My butt gets slightly damp, that's okay. Oh, wow, that's a nice, nice view right there. Nice. Very, very nice. Like that, is that about right? That's about right, okay. Properly positioning the up down axis adjustment on the camera. 
uh, uh, stabilizer. Getting solid footing. There we go. All right. Yeah, I'm really glad I was able to see here at this point because this area gets kind of ugly when so many of the leaves are gone and just scattered on the ground. I mean, it does start to look like what it becomes, dirt. So, all right, lovely incline, here we go. I just can't believe how out of shape I am, it's ridiculous. So stupid. Having a few problems with my knee, too, so... There's an area coming up that I could keep going and it becomes very strenuous, but... Slip down a little again. I don't think I'm ready for that. Did a nice little walk yesterday with some good inclines there. Doing some now, but I am gonna give myself a break. I know I'll be hurting. And then I'll be useless for a couple days. I hate being useless like that, so I don't know, maybe I wouldn't be maybe it wouldn't be that bad, but I guess I'm just making excuses for being lazier today, right? Is that a good spot or is that a spot I'm going to have a hard time coming up again? Because it looks inviting to me, but let's see. Got uh, decent shoes for it. I knew not to be stupid and wear sandals to here. Unless I was planning on walking in the water, but... Ah, oh, this is nice. Yeah, it's very nice.
Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, originally I wasn't even going to go out again this morning. And I was going to go maybe to, if I was, it was maybe to Bresman Forest, which has virtually no inclines and declines, so... Here at Swan Creek, it's full of them, so... You know, still not as many birds as I was hoping to hear. Thought I'd be filled with them, but... Apparently not. Maybe I had to be here even earlier? Or maybe this just isn't the park that has that many. For some reason. Whatever that reason may be. That's a, a dangerous little turn right there. I don't remember this being broken ahead up, up here. Yeah, I don't remember that. Huh. All right.
Yep, so many spider webs, my goodness. Oh, Spidey. I'm just glad we don't have... I mean, it's hardly ever heard of anyway. We don't have poisonous spiders here. There may be some that people might be allergic to, but not everyone. All right. Now let's see how I do on this. Sticker bushes were on my ear. Sticker bushes? In my vagina? It's more common than you think. All right. Yeah, I must think I kind of like some of the other ones better than this one, even though this is the main one I'd usually go to. Don't get me wrong, it's cool. The other ones were too. Yeah, cool stuff. If I had cheap throwaway sandals, it'd be really cool to, to do a video walking, just walking through this Walking through this. But, still don't know whether I'd want to have the good camera. I'd probably want the, uh, the pocket too. Anyway. There's not much further on this trail here. And I'll be turning around. Hope I can traverse this without slipping too badly. All right. Stop. Get out of my ear, your sticker bush. Thank you so much, stinger bush. Yep. That's about it. Well, actually. As, I mean, there were stairs there, but you can go just a little, tiny bit further here on this bottom section. I'll go just a little bit further, and then it stops. be stopping at any point now. Okay, it's making a liar out of me. <laughs> Thought it was uh, really short. Fire. Someone had here. Oh, maybe not. Well, no, it looks like... I guess it wasn't. It looked like a campfire, but it was just the way the ground had seeped moisture. So... Wow.
Okay, it must be up right here that it's that it. I just know it doesn't continue for that long. I just hurt my arm with the way that I pulled on that branch. Oh, fuck, did I just hurt my arm? Oh. to be so careful with that arm up oh, yeah that's <laughs> unless I want to go up a route that's that's totally waterlogged all the way through there it's the trail is done here so I think I'll be all right with the arm but that really hurt initially really bad like I said, I've had some stupid injuries on it recently. Like last month, I had a really stupid injury. Try to play He-Man, bringing stuff into the house. That's all I really need to say. <laughs> Lifted something on the shelf wrong and was messed up for a week, I think it was. Yeah, I think this will be fine. Maybe it'll be a little bit sore tomorrow, but it'll, I don't think it'd be, think it'd be anything like what <laughs> when I really injured it, so. We're talking good times here, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I hate that my mind is filled with jingles and fonts. How do I remember things so much on the way that they look and sound? I mean, there's a good thing about that at times, but in trying to relay it to other people, it's not all that useful. I mean, you can show me some song, a little clip of it, and I'll probably be able to tell you within at least just like maybe two years uh, variance um, when it was made. I'm usually usually pretty on though it's like yeah I can tell you when that was made but if I listened to the whole song just the first time through I wouldn't be able to tell you what the lyrics mean I'd have to listen to it more times because <laughs> I'm paying attention to things that well I mean I won't say it don't, they don't matter because they do but they're not what most people pay attention to in a song so And some of that's just the differences between the way that uh, musicians sometimes look at music versus just the listeners. But there's variance there too, so don't get me wrong. I, I think it's I think it's kind of funny when someone will try will show me. A, someone's vocal performance on something, right? In some band. And there's this one part that comes up and they tell me, oh, he puts his all into it. He just puts so much emotion into it. And all I think about when I hear it is, well, it just sounds like he's struggling to hit the notes. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes people can have that struggling sound and still be pleasurable to the ears, and there are other times not so much. But you listen anyway, because 
it's still a good song, you know? I love this park. There, there are so many parks I love in, in the Puget Sound area, but this is definitely one of the one of the better ones. It has some of the things that I miss about being able to go to uh, the Point Defiance trails that are along the five mile drive that's now closed to uh, uh, cars. So yeah, I could go to them still if I wanted to walk five miles, wanted to walk just a few miles just to get to them. <laughs> and maybe I'll feel like that sometime, but... You know, I want to get to where I'm going, you know? But I suppose it wouldn't be that bad, because it is, even, even as you're just walking on, a, on this wide street, it is a pretty view no matter what there, so... With a pretty view. What is that? Uh, oh, yeah, that's Rio. Love the bass line on that song, Rio. Just really great work. That's the kind of bass line I like. I like busy bass lines, I do. I think they're awesome. I get bored with the ones where all you're doing is repeating the, the, the main... the, well, the base note of, of whatever chords or, or scales are being played, right? Just that one note. It's like, man, there's so much you can do with this line, you know? How can you move around? I may, uh, bass is something I may pick up again. I usually only played uh, friends' basses. But someday I should get my own, and because it's a great way to come up with songs. I've done baseline first songs massive times. I mean, not necessarily with a real bass, but I mean, just I start with a bass part first so often.
I keep thinking about that spot that I thought was a campfire. It's, there's a chance it still could have been at one time. It was just kind of the way they had things laid out there. Still a dumb place for it, but people build campfires in really stupid places sometimes, so... It's like a jungle sometimes. Okay. Huh. There's a big log that was sort of blocking part of the path before. I wonder if they moved that out. Whether I just kind of went past it and didn't think about it and...
Yeah, I, th I think they cleared it out. This was right in this beginning area after the bridge. Yeah, it must have been right there. No, maybe not. I don't know. I can't remember where it was. I'll have to look at a past video to see where that was. Yeah, it was normally a bit of a job to traverse that section. Well, this has been nice. I always enjoy it here. And I really need the exercise. I might bore some of you with a lot of these, but if I can get enjoyment out of some people, just a, even a very, very niche group of people, while I'm getting exercise and sharing a few things on the way, then great. Sounds like a win-win. Now hopefully my vehicle is safe where I parked. There is a vehicle that looked kind of shady. I don't know how else to describe it than that, but... So let's cross fingers for when I get back <laughs> to the vehicle. I don't think I ever looked into why it got called Swan Creek. I don't know the history. Maybe the next time I come here on camera, I'll, uh, I'll know more history. Or I'll just know some at all. <laughs> Yeah, my brother and I, and sometimes other friends and I, would come here, go down to where the water was, and smoke a bowl of weed, hang out. It was pretty cool. Well, no broken windows or anything, so looks good so far. Everything should be good. 
I'm going to end the video. Thanks so much for watching.